A week before he was set to take his A-levels, Marvin Ng's best childhood friend died. That friend was no other than Darren Ng, a 19-year-old boy who was brutally attacked at Downtown East by gang members. Unable to concentrate on his revision, Marvin thought he would fare poorly in the exams. But today, the student of Millennium Institute received his results and was pleasantly surprised to get three A's for history, economics and business. Marvin had known Darren since they were both five years old. They were next door neighbours and even went to the same primary school, Ross High School. Marvin revealed to us that on the day that Darren was attacked, he was actually at Downtown East as well. He arrived at the Mac Cafe at Downtown East two hours after the incident as he planned on studying for his exams there, but was shocked at what he was about to find. Um, yeah, something happened there because there was blood everywhere, but um, we didn't know what happened because there was no trace of the police everywhere. But um, I just went to eat. Father just came from church, so I went to eat and I went to study. So, who informed you while you were at? Uh you know, Mike Cafe at downtown is that uh, your your friend has passed on? Um, it was my brother, yeah. So, you know, what, what did he say? He called you or what? Yeah, he called me and he told me that something bad happened and I should come home to um, support the family. Um, yeah. So upon hearing that, uh, what did you do? Um, I was really, really very shocked. So, um, But at the same time, A-Levels was a week away. So I, I didn't know what to do. I was, I was shocked by just stone there for about an hour and I packed up my stuff and I headed home. Um, it was only a few hours later when my parents came back from um, the hospital that we knew that it was confirmed. With his childhood friend gone without a warning, how did Marvin react, especially with the A-levels just a week away? His wake was on the third day, so in between I... I was really very affected and I didn't touch my books at all. I didn't do anything. I only sat around, um, took walks, yeah, took really long walks. I managed to take time off A-levels and all the pressure that society puts on that piece of paper. Even though it is might be important, but yeah, it's still human and I really need to, I need to mourn and time to mourn. Despite his grief, he managed to contain his emotions and get through his exams. And um, even the own parents of my best friend, uh, my childhood best friend Darren, um, kind of encouraged me because even though he was in so much pain, he he said he said it in a way that um, that that it's all in God's hand. And even if he can come to that place, um, I don't see why me as a friend um, I can't come to that place. Marvin is relieved that his exam results are good, but now and then he still thinks back to the best of times with his dear friend Darren. And I will let you go And I will let you go um, It'll be the long bus rides you take because um, we stay in Pasiris and our school is significantly far in Serangoon so, um, long bus rides, and we'll just be at the back of the bus. He always stand up for me, and he will always make sure that um, I get my sleep, nobody pokes me, um, I don't get bullied by the older ones, because he's always my, he was like a big brother to me, even at a super young age, and we are the same age. That's, that's a memory that I couldn't forget, and how we used to talk at the back of the bus. What, what do you miss most about Darren? Um, I miss his smile, yeah, because... I think you can ask any of his friends, he's always smiling, yeah. He's a person that always smiles, like, no matter what. Like, even through bad times, through good times, he's always smiling, yeah. In the next clip, we meet two teenagers from Innova Junior College who put aside their own personal revision time every day to help their weaker peers. 